Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages. Hi, I'm John Sitton. Hello, I'm Rob Perez. Christian Carambeau. Welcome to your Football and Fix. Pitch Talk. Pitch Talk. Pitch Talk. We've got football videos on YouTube, blogs, debates and discussion on Facebook and Twitter. Plus we do a podcast and so much more. It's we the people for the people. For our videos, including our interviews and special features, check out youtube.com forward slash pitch talk. Our podcast can be found on iTunes, Podomatic, TuneIn Radio and Spreaker with older podcasts on mixcloud.com forward slash pitch talk. Join the football revolution because the pitch is where we eat. The pitch is where we sleep. And the pitch is where we talk. Join us on social media by searching for Pitch Talk. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, my name is Straight Shooting LJ and this is the Straight Shooting View. Now, you know, I'm a little bit of an opinionated soul. Of course, you kind of have to be these days. But you know what? One thing that annoyed me is something kind of some would see as minor, but it was from Gloucestershire Police. And Gloucestershire Police recently were talking about residents, people should call the police on children if they see them playing football in the street. And do you know what? It's one of those things that made my heart sink really did, really did make my heart sink, and I know a few other people felt the same way as me, but you know what, it's bad enough trying to encourage people to snitch on each other, that's bad enough, but children playing football in the street, I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, whether it, whether it, was, whether it be in Oxford, whether it be in London, whether it be any place that I've gone, playing football on the street was a rite of passage. Like where where like where I grew up where I grew up in West London, it's a case of we used to play cricket on the street too. And it's like if you deprive children from playing, I mean come on, calling the police on children playing in the street. Do you understand how absurd that is? For me personally, it was I said it was like a rite of passage playing football in the street. I couldn't get enough of football when I was a kid. Whether it be playing it in the street, whether it be playing it at school, after school at play centre, for those who know, playing it at Green Pitch, under Grenfell Tower, and it was like, we could not get enough of playing football, even at Westway. But it was one of them ones where it's like, if you'll get if, if you're gonna do this, where else are the future stars of tomorrow gonna nurture gonna get nurtured? Because most of these most of the academies of clubs are very elitist. And you've got to pay money. Bear in mind, bear in mind, wages wages are not rising as fast as the cost of living. So you got to bear in mind, maybe that parent can't afford that extra that extra set of footballing footballing classes afterwards, like a kicks or Brentford Community or, so, or Trust or something like that. Maybe they can't afford that. But you know what? It is one of them ones as well where it's like this is how nonsensical. The PC Brigade, the bulls, almost swore. This PC Brigade crap has gone. It's one of them ones. I think Gloucestershire police were saying, um, yeah, if you see kids playing football on the street, please call the police because they're trying to clamp down on antisocial behaviour. Um, yeah, I think antisocial behaviour you'll find is people getting drunk, throwing up on the street and fighting in the street. That's antisocial behaviour. Not kicking football, kicking football in the street. As long as the kids ain't breaking nothing, fine. Fine. I said, we used to do it. We used to do it as kids. I'm 31 years old. We used to do this as kids and enjoy it. So it's one of them, it's one of them ones. I mean, we used to play World Cup or Wembley, as some people will know it. It's one, it's one of them ones. It, as I said, we had so many fun times. And also, one thing, one thing as well, if you're going to close down municipal pitches, get rid of them or make them pay, per, pay to play, then where else are these kids going to play? If you're closing down youth centres where there might have been a football pitch inside there, where else are they going to play? Where else are they going to play? So you, so in Gloucestershire, I would, oh, the Gloucestershire police, I'm sorry, but you guys have really dropped the ball. And in my opinion, in my opinion, you're looking like morons. But hey, what do I know? 
I'm just someone who loves football. You know what? Let me know your view as well. At SSLJA on Twitter. At Pitch Talk on Twitter as well. Tweet with us, follow us, see what we are up to. Facebook.com forward slash Pitch Talk. Become a fan, become a friend, become a member of the group as well. YouTube.com forward slash Pitch Talk is where you can find all of our videos. You know what? I have been straight shooting LJA. And you know what? Long live kids playing football on the streets. Hey, right, I'm straight shooting LJA. I'll see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages. Hi, I'm John Sitton. Hello, I'm Rob Perez. Christian Carambeu. Welcome to your Football and Fix. Pitch Talk. Pitch Talk. Pitch Talk. We've got football videos on YouTube. Blogs, debates and discussion on Facebook and Twitter. Plus we do a podcast and so much more. It's we the people for the people. For our videos, including our interviews and special features, check out youtube.com forward slash pitch talk. Our podcast can be found on iTunes, Podomatic, TuneIn Radio and Spreaker with older podcasts on mixcloud.com forward slash pitch talk. Join the football revolution because the pitch is where we eat, the pitch is where we sleep and the pitch is where we talk. Join us on social media by searching for pitch talk.